Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's a quick video I'm putting out for the console cubby hole above the above my head in my transporter. Uh, a couple of people on the forum said, "Could I throw a video up um, of how I did it and that?" Because I filmed it. This is actually part of a series of videos um, that I've been filming since I bought the van in September. Um, so it was a bit random this one going up, but um, because obviously I've done it in an order. Um, anyway, if you're interested in those other videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that, that kind of stuff. Um, and you'll see them as they go up because I'm very shortly going to post the first video, which was lowering the van. Um, <clears throat> anyway, check this video out. See what you think. Okay, so now we've got all this installed in the front and the back rather. So it's all set in place and then there's the front. Now we're going to go ahead and get it all soldered up and uh, connected into this loom.
so there's the uh, roof mount controls and the monitor all good it's all ready to go got the cable plug coming out the side which I've wired into the van as you've seen so the trading cable goes off to an ignition live feed and um, it's all ready to fit back in so we're gonna cut to the fitting um, tomorrow because it's dark outside see you then bye morning guys it's the next day so we're in the van we're gonna about to get started on installing the uh, <clears throat> console into the top we've got all our we've got our, our feeder wires here ready to connect into a plug down here and then when all that's in place i just got to run my power cable down via the seat belt um, down the side of the seat belt frame into get it under the seat where temporarily is going to be the fused um, pickup point until much later in the build when I build a console behind the seat that's where it's going to live so that's why I'm doing it under the seat for now um, it's only a temporary thing uh, so yeah and we're, let's get on and get it installed <laughs> So that's it, it's all in and fitted, and uh, this is what it looks like. Check it out. Okay, so what we've got is uh, first switch is going to power the voltmeter on so we can see what we're holding volts wise. Second switch is going to power the flip down TV in the back and the third switch is going to power the mood lighting which is still to be installed in another video. But it's all geared up ready to go. So, so I didn't find a good use for my sunglasses holder up there. Um, got stuck too many times so I thought I'd put it to better use. I don't know what, you're, what you think but if you like it hit the like button and um, subscribe for more videos because we're going to be uh, bringing you the whole flip down TV uh, where I fitted all this and I did all that um, which is all part of it uh, and a bunch of other videos as well because this one's only coming out because um, people on the forum uh, had said they want to see something so I just ripped some footage down um, but it's actually part of a much bigger video um, and uh, I'll thin it down for that video obviously this was just about the console um, but I've already filmed the lowering of the van, the bars, the rear spoiler fitting um, the, and uh, the rear glass um, and also in the next video in the back there a little treat we got in that, bump, in that box there we have a Sportline front bumper, all sprayed, ready to go. So when the weather's a um, bit better, I'll be putting that on and I'll film that too. Uh, so like and subscribe if you want to see these videos going up on YouTube and catch them. Um, and then, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers, thanks for watching. Do